Discipline. Just take discipline. Take discipline to spend time with God. Take discipline to pray. Take discipline to just come before the Lord and be still, sit still for an hour, don't say nothing. It takes discipline to, to quiet your spirit. It takes discipline to, to pray in tongues for an hour, for two hours. Paul says, I pray in tongues more than ye all. What does that mean? What does that mean? He comes to a whole church. What does that mean? That probably means he prayed in tongues for five, six hours at a time. When you, the Bible says he who prays in tongues prays unto the Father. But also when you pray in tongues, you're praying the perfect will of God that the Spirit of the Lord knows the will of God. He intercedes for your behalf. Pray in tongues. Amen. Pray in tongues of your destiny. Church doesn't pray in the Holy Ghost enough. Wow. Somebody get this tonight? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. I know I'm just really belaboring and elaborating on, on this one point, but I really want you to get this. Amen? Amen. Trying, God knows I'm trying to get you. I want to get you out of here. Very early. We're going to see. <laughs> no, we're going to work it out. Number two, vision. Very important for you to operate in vision. The vision that God has given you. What do you see concerning what God has shown you concerning the things he's called you to do? Like I said, you're not 16 anymore. You're not 18. I'm not talking to a group of teenagers tonight. I want you to understand that God has released something in your spirit. Whether it be business or ministry, you need to understand that it is vision from God. Will it be fulfilled? Will the potential of that vision come to pass or will you die with that vision still on the inside of you? Will you take that vision and that potential that God has given you to the grave? There are so many individuals in the grave that have died and took their vision and dreams with them. Will you be one of them? Or will you fulfill the God-given vision that he has released unto you? Will those prophetic words come to pass in your life? Will you Will you, will you walk in it? Will you touch it? Will you see it? Have you put an action plan to execute that vision? What has God released unto you that you have decided to say, I'm going to work on this vision? Just because you got a vision don't mean it's going to come to pass. Put some legs to that vision. Put a goal to that vision and say, by the end of this year or the end of next year, I will complete this vision or I will be in the middle of this vision. My hands will be on it. I will see something tangible. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yeah, business on the inside of you. There are daycares and there's, there's, there's companies on the inside of you, God. Another element to staying on course, on the course of your destiny is finances. The enemy tries to smite our finances so we won't fulfill the vision of God, the dream of God, the destiny. So therefore, we have to operate from a place of warfare with our finances. We got to operate from a place of warfare where I give it. We got to give like we're doing back. Amen. Amen. That we may receive the harvest. A lot of times we've given and you've got a harvest and you thought that was your real harvest. That wasn't the real harvest. God wanted you to take that you had just received and saw it again. Amen. Some of us, we gave a person $5 and 
until you got like twenty, thirty dollars back, and you thought, "Oh, that was a harvest." No, God wanted you to take that and sow it. Amen. Amen. 